go anywhere. Well, that was kind of fucked up. Shots of her pussies, right? Mm. You're not a pussy, oh. are you? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. I see two of you right now, and I just hope you die and nail the right one. Mm. <laughs> Close your eyes for the surprise. Okay, yeah. Ooh, all right. Mm. My girlfriend is gonna be jealous. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate these beats. Hmm. Another college kid ODs in Mardi Gras. Typical guy. Just when things heat up, he's dead to the world. Do you really dead to him? He'll be fine. He'll sleep it off and hate himself tomorrow. Well, so first, I'm already drawn. I to... You're not a too blind. Explore. Yeah. Well, that probably shouldn't happen in a shitty motel.
I'm sure you think you do. How do you know I will seek something? I see things right out in front of me, in front of my clock. You dig? Right. <laughs> you can see the future, of course. Twenty-five dollars, please. What? <laughs> then you must be able to see that I don't have twenty-five dollars for a chicken foot. A rabbit foot, maybe. How about this? Got 25 cents. <laughs> we good? Can I get that back? Gentlemen, we're going away in the club. I'm coming closer like a thug with a 12 gauge. Busted by the police, no inner peace to achieve. Just a love from across the range, a on the sleeve. Don't leave. I'll pay in advance for a table dance and a chance to admire your thickness. I'm addicted to the sickness of it. I'm a little shell. Who starts her new job at Hooters on Tuesday? Very funny, but hey, it's a coffee house, and I'm a barista, not a barman. Tragic underuse of access. Best job on campus, and you know it. Took me a year to get it. Here, here, ladies. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, Benet! Who chose you? Always. Okay, my nomination. Who gets to buy our next round? Goes to. Those that want to be chilling over there. The blue shirt has a superpower. It's a uh, sucking golf ball in the garden. <laughs> ladies, ladies, listen, listen. We're in a weird place, so remember the 60 second rule. If anyone is out of sight for more than a minute, even in the bathroom, we go get her. The bathroom? But that's Hope's favorite place to do it. Mm -hmm. That was only once, and I was totally wasted. Once? Okay, twice, <laughs> but the second time didn't count because that lifeguard was too drunk to get it up. Look, I'm dead serious. Don't go missing at Mardi Gras all the time. We need to watch out for one another. That's all I'm saying. We need to get this trip. Yeah. That will happen about um, two weeks from... Oh, yeah. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, ladies. Get ready for our next three rounds. Oh, it looks like a total douche to me. They all look like total douches to you. Tina, I'll give you the rebound if there is one, but don't have to go. Well, are you gonna buy me a drink or just stare at me? Well, I was hoping I could do both if that's okay with you. <laughs> Whiskey. No, 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 no. That's for amateurs. Sazerac. Two. I don't get it. She always gets the hot. It's an ancient college secret, Katie. Hope's a slut. So what kind of name is Gar, anyway? Well, it's short for Gargo. So my family's originally from Normandy. But we've been here in World New Orleans for a very long, long time. New Orleans doesn't look very royal to me. Not what I've said. Well, you just haven't seen the right parts. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should show me the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Hey, back at the hotel, I have a, a, a three story, five alarm beer bong that's trashed like a half dozen chicks, like completely laid waste. You interested? That sounds tempting. Look, I'm not like steaming on you or anything. What's steaming? Never mind. Just. Wh where are you girls from? We were talking before you came and sat here. I know, but I made a bet with my buddy over there, the monster tart with the football jersey, that I could get your number. You want my number? Yeah. Okay. My number seven? Yeah. Yeah, he seems dumb enough to believe that. <laughs> yeah, uh, funny, that's actually my number for uh, intramural basketball. I think this is meant to be. Look, it seems like the polite letdown isn't getting to your head. Fuck off, okay? 
You should be fucking honored that I would give a rat's ass about hitting your shit. Oh, that's all. I'll be right back. Oh, the fucking bad. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I apologies for that asshole. Wow, what exactly did you tell him to make him go away? Told him we Cajuns are inbred. I was gonna make him squeal like a pig. Excuse me, Manet. There really are gentlemen here in the French Quarter. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to seduce your friend. <laughs> With our blessing. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, wait, wait, wait. Um, maybe you can get rid of that guy. Get out of here for a ride. Yeah. I'll show you the town. She what? She asking for him. I should have gotten your door, shouldn't I? I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's a loner. How old do you say you were? I just turned 23. <laughs> Ooh, pretty fast. Don't mind if I do. Shit. It's it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> but it's empty. Can we get more? Oh, it's an old family recipe. But I got some more at home. Oh, well let's go home then, son. <laughs> <laughs> Another word. Get her. Fuck. What the fuck is this? Huh? Get out of here. You come back here again, I'm gonna arrest you. Wait, where are you going? Mm. Are you a real cop? Yeah. I mean, undercover. I thought you were a ZZ Top fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Pantera. Uh, sir, we, we actually have a. Uh, a dumb question to ask you. In the Big Easy, there are no dumb questions, just a lot of dumb people. Do you handle bar situations? Depends on who's buying. Well, we just left a bar where we were with a friend, and she got really drunk and disappeared, and, and now she's not answering her phone. Wow. You know, boy, that's the first time I heard that during Mardi Gras. And let me guess, she left with a really cute guy, and you guys are going home alone. <laughs> alone? That's a sexist concept. Well, I am a New Orleans cop, so uh, just how evolved can I be? Pretty uh, evolved. What I'm saying is, even if she wasn't that type... Wait, you just said wasn't. You mean isn't. Girls, it's Mardi Gras. You know, why don't you just have some fun, give her a couple of days? No, but she knows that we're leaving tomorrow. If you don't find your friend by tomorrow, why don't you look me up? I, I don't know about that. Beard is real. We should look him up. He's a professional. Doesn't look That's right. like a professional. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. What was it? What, what, where was the bar you guys were drinking in tonight? Um, uh, where was it? It was at, um, on, the, on the corner of uh, the Dauphine and, and, and Lessips. Why don't I meet you there tomorrow night at 8 o'clock? Okay, okay. And uh, as they say, uh, les bon ton brûlé or something like that? <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
I don't know whether to be concerned or jealous shit. How many times have hope dished us for some guy, Benet? As many times as she's blown some guy. Besides, she just texted us. Phone's about to die. Well, her charger is right here, so that's not very reassuring. Guys, I have a serious question. Are there any beers left in the honor bar, or do we drink them out? Why do they call it an honor bar? Because it's an honor to drink at four in the morning. I get drunker when I drink. <laughs> I swear I lose IQ points every time I hang out with you idiots. Can you open this? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> right here, little darling. Let me get that from you. <sighs> Meet Hope. That's really her name. <laughs> so we welcome a new guest to our family table. Oh, so you're the family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, Dora, you promised more of that uh, family recipe stuff. Telly for Telly, Telly for Telly, Telly for Telly. Like to drink, do you? Uh, who doesn't like to drink here and there? I don't. Why not? Alcohol dulls to senses. She's a girl of slightly elevated acumen, I should think. You sure don't anymore, do you, dear? Turned you on? Bring it up. Oh! Sorry. Sorry. Good. <laughs> Who in the hell wants to be good here, huh? <laughs> uh, not me! <laughs> for me and two blackjacks for you two pale imitations of who you were last night. Oh, I always thought a decaf is kind of like a virgin margarita. It's meant to trick your body. I like the taste of coffee. I don't need it for a speed me up. What's up with you and all the old guys anyway? I just like to flirt. Hollis is kind of cute, Vinay. Oh. And funny and not <laughs> cute. <laughs> cute or not cute. <laughs> he is a cop and he's the only resource that we have at this point, so. You need to make him like you. That's one thing Tina is good at, mm -hmm. men liking her. Well, don't be jealous. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep him hooked. You wanna try to call her again? Straight to voicemail.
is awake finally. God damn it, Ma! I'm not your Ma. She kept struggling, waking up and whatnot. You know they have to be comfortable to last. Well then, tell her not to fight with me. She is not fighting you. She's scared. You sobered up yet, honey? Good. I'll come by with some food a little later. Eat a horse, buddy. <laughs> I may be in this damn chair, but I got all kinds of ways to make you obey my will. Lucky little thing. Living life mobile. Walking places. Attracting the young bucks by swinging your derriere. That damn curse had happened one week earlier. I'd be sashaying around just like you wagging my little derriere instead of sitting in this damn chair for eternity with an ass flat as a pancake. One week earlier. That's when Justice punched me in the face and threw me down the stairs. He still loves me, though. My family moved to America in the 1830s. My youngest daughter, Blanche, she was the star then. She graduated from the Sorbonne, that's in Paris, with honors and was absolutely stunning. So, when do I get to show you off to my parents? I need you to meet mine first. My family is very particular about who I spend my time with, but you understand. Well, hopefully they'll uh, approve me. Yeah, they will. How large is your ranch? Oh, it's about 60 acres. Uh, Plenty of room for us and our rugrats. <laughs> you really expect me to spoil this figure with children? <laughs> well, my parents. I'll have this figure forever. We put Blanche on the hunt to find the perfect family to marry into. But she made a mistake. A tragic mistake. My whore of a daughter had an affair that cost our family everything. I told you, I'm not holding out, as you put it. I'm just not that kind of girl. You're so beautiful. Where could that be? Just a little token of my love for you. But before we do this, I have one question for you. What's that? About your visitor the other day. Visitor? Color fella. Oh, that was your visitor, actually. I think, um, a delivery boy. Right. What about him? Is there anything you want to tell me about it? Nothing to tell. That's not what I hear. My slave told me he saw you guys together. Heard you moaning and such. Well, your slave heard wrong. Even slaves know that sound. Nine months later, our lives would never be the same. I take that back, dear. They became the same forever. Because of that hellish curse, we were doomed to live the same day over and over for eternity. What's wrong, Sally? I am what is wrong. <sighs> you can't wait to get rid of it, can you? I hate the man who did this to me. You can have it. I can have it! <laughs> I can have it. 
you would give me what's already rightfully mine. It is I who's here to do the giving. Who could hate a baby? It's does nothing wrong. Can't help it be born. Can't help it that its mother is a semen stealing wench. Perfect payback, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I curse you to be bound to your bastard baby for eternity. And if you or yours should ever end this bind, your whole family line shall end. You will all perish. Sever the cord. <laughs> Sever the lie. But if you keep your back, your whole family will be frozen in time at their present ages for eternity. Never to age. What about me, mistress? Will I age? Oh! <laughs> yes! You will age, but you will never die. <laughs> you will live for eternity. Every year, same show, over and over and over. You know, it's like having eternal deja vu. You go, oh, that feels like it just happened. Because it just did. And here I sit again, with another one of you again, and this contraption again. Well, let's get started. Oh, we're going to get this tube right here. And here's what I do. I take a little bit of this and I top it right off here into here. What it does is it makes your joints catch on hellfire. And it makes your blood just roast a little. But don't worry because you won't die. But I get a little bit of variety because everybody suffers just a little bit different. Okay, here we go. Go on, go on, shake that little derriere. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Good. Oh, justice. She's ready for her food. We got a forklift on the driveway. A big ass crate on the way. A helicopter hired for backup. Because we plan to blow you away. Don't have 16 professional dancers. Or laser lights on display. But if you come to the show, gonna let you know. We I'm gonna get you, officer. Dude. If I'd known it was your chopper, I never would have let him boot it. Who boots a chopper anyway? So I guess a blowjob's out of the question. A comp's light beer's out of the question, bro. Did you work last night? Of course. Those girls back at my table, did you see the guy that was with them? Not with them, with a fine little nugget that was with them. How'd he pay? Cash, big tip. So I'm inclined to cover for him. Say he killed the bitch or something. But uh, I take it you're asking because she's missing. 
Bingo. Yeah, well, if I was him, I wouldn't be done with her neither. But, like I said, I don't really know who he is. I may have seen him around. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. No wheels for two weeks was great for my love life. Good for your upper thighs, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thanks so much. Huh? Eight walking's the best. Mm-hmm. Fuck you very much. Seeing a few slaves stretched out in the road before them to question and learn that a very devout Christian man is his master. Hearing this, Candide admits to himself, I'm through, I must give up Pangloss. Optimism after all. It is a mania for saying things are well when one is in hell. But when is one not so much in hell? Dear father. <laughs> when one is with the one they're meant to be with, I guess. Mama? No. It sounds so bittersweet. What fate means to you? No. Fate means death. So to answer your question, I don't guess anymore. I just sit and read. Look, she'd check in by now, officer. Well, there's nothing I can do officially unless we have more evidence. Man, you keep fucking saying that. Look, I'll be frank. A lot of people come here just to disappear. Hope didn't come here to disappear. Okay, but what can we do? I'm not just gonna sit here. Chris Kringle, motherfucker. I'll go talk to her. But Nate. Your friend is in real trouble. What? Who are you? I just got about 500 likes on my picture. I'm kind of insta famous. Nice. I really like your beard. You gotta be a lady. Turn to come sit over here. Yeah. Look, I know you're tired. And he's just really uptight, you know? And you're not? No. I'm very relaxed. I was here last night. I saw her leave with him. You know the guy? We have a cop inside. And that cop, he doesn't, he doesn't like me and I don't regard him. But you know the guy with my friend? He's a local guy. Comes to the town once a year during the festival, so you don't have much hope. And I know Luke's having a great time with that local guy. I mean, he's almost old enough for me. Does that mean you like older bad boys? Mm -hmm. Well, I prefer men over boys. I see. Am I in trouble, officer? I think we're both in trouble. Let's, let's get out of here. My truck is parked around back. Of more room to get to know each other. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Oh, great. He knows where Hope is. I just I said no such thing. You just I, This guy is a con man. Why don't you go peddle your racket somewhere else across town, man? When you get through wasting your time with this cop, use your poulet griff to find me. What did he say? Nothing. Bunch of gibberish. Why are you so hostile, man? We're just trying to find our friend. Look, you're not going to find her by hanging out with the homeless. Look, what did he say? 
Kool-Aid Griff is chicken feet. The claw. She is on a mission and cannot be reasoned with. I'm sorry. Well, what about my truck? Can we follow them and hide close by? Yeah, that's what undercover cops do best. Fancy the, the brown gravy on the meat. What do you think, son? Oh, I love meat. <laughs> That's why I eat these. Oh, we got a vegetarian now. <laughs> you have a problem with that? If the good Lord did not want you to eat animals, he wouldn't have made them out of delicious meat. What does this little skinny bitch know about food anyway? <laughs> I'm just saying, when's the last time you actually killed something? Gar provides plenty for this family. He's pretty. I'll give him that. I'm so tired of your shit. I'll fucking kill you right now. Come on, then. That'll be something at least. No. <laughs> Stop. Look what you did. Dolly. 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 Sweetheart, look at Mama. Dolly. Stop. Oh, Dolly. When are you going to get your new Dolly? Look at Mama. Look at me right now. Right now. Are you looking at me? Okay, you take a deep breath. Oh. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Dolly, 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 Dolly. And where <laughs> is Dolly gonna get a new Dolly? Dolly for Dolly, Dolly for Dolly. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to it? <laughs> yeah. Dolly for Dolly. Girl. Gar, when is it going to be ready to put in her room? Soon, Ma. Soon. What? I'm going to an after hours. I want to be lean. That's pretty soon after this tanking, don't you think? We have this conversation every year. This is the best time of the year to be invisible, and I want to go out. And every time you go out, you put the entire family at risk. At risk of losing what? Only everything. That's all. Understand the stakes, Papa. You carry this entire family on your back every time you go out, girl. You eat your fucking egg. Shut the fuck up. Eat some meat. You think he beat us here? Hello? Hello? Hmm. 
That's not possible. Doesn't make any sense. I knew you met the chicken man. Jesus. This says he's dead. Who said he isn't? Follow me. With all due respect, I don't believe in any of this. Everything you are experiencing and everything you will experience here relates back to your quest. Did you bring the chicken foot? Place it on the table. says 1838 Burgundy, France. I told you I'd feed you, didn't I? What, no smile? You must be starving. <laughs> no, silly. I'm not gonna feed your mouth. <laughs> Packed full of sugar and nutrients. You're not just Eating for yourself now. <laughs> Your friend is the only hope the family has to live another day. She is connected to Blanche, now an old woman, and her bastard baby. They must keep the baby nourished with youthful blood in order to survive themselves. Ugh. She's slurping again, the filthy whore. The good news for you is we require your services for a full year. And then get your paw, just like Brianna. You remember Brianna's party, don't you? I want you to really feel this, Brie. This is my gift to you. After all this time. My family is the only thing that stands between you and the end of your life. Is that clear? We are everything to you. And remember, we didn't ask for anything. So we won't feel guilty about any of it either. Isn't that right, sugar pie? <laughs> That's right. A good girl cannot be seduced by another woman's man. Only a rank, condemnable coquette can commit such a heresy. A girl with a heart of a whore. And that will be the girl required to complete the bond. My friend is no whore. They're all whores now, sleeping around wearing flashy clothes. Where the hell is she? That's right. What? She's in hell. Look, I'll believe in all this if it gets so back. You expect us to believe that you are the 200-year-old boyfriend? Wait, wait, let, I think I should explain my ulterior motive at this point. No, don't. We just want our friend back. We don't need all this shit. I don't care who or what you think you well, are. consider the facts. You met with him. You sat down with the guy. You let him buy your drinks while he gained your trust and seduced your friend. Now, you both know that ain't no voodoo mumbo jumbo. Look, all of this is just fucked. Well, you don't have to pretend to believe any of this. We both want to find hope for very different reasons. 
Okay then, magic man. You seem to know this town like the back of your hand. Look, it's not as simple as that. Of course it's not. Oh, but let me guess. You want money from us for your voodoo mumbo jumbo. It's not that simple. Since the family has what they have, they don't have to hunt for another year. Now, unless you can get the New Orleans Police Department to go house to house, your friend is about to experience a year of unholy hell. We're gonna find our friend, okay? We're gonna go on the internet, tell the whole world if we have to. <laughs> you know, I've, I've danced this dance for a very long time that I know all of your moves. Before the internet, they tried TV and radio. Before that, the newspaper. And before that, they posted signs and the family held vigils. Well, if it's that hopeless, then why are you telling us? Because we have one shot, the daughter. And they call her Amelia. She's a, she's a vile sadist. And she thinks sex is violence. And she'll be out tonight. And how do you know that? Because it's the last night of Mardi Gras. And it's the last night that she can be out, yet be invisible. Why don't we show the picture to the cop? He seems to want to help. Help? In this town, the cops are a bigger menace than the bad guys. Are you Cinderella? Because I definitely see that dress coming off at midnight. What? Your father must be a baker because you've got great buns. <laughs> uh, shouldn't we be going to some clubs looking for that guy? Something? Uh, you look like my mother. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it worked that's, like it worked for my daughter. That's, huh? It, it worked for my daughter. I that's mean, not funny. No, no, I mean, no, no. I mean, I ran them by her and she, she approved. She's, look, I, I know you're looking at some weird pickup line website on your phone. I, I, I'm not really. I mean, it's, well, I mean, I'm not. I literally see it right there. <laughs> Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, your daddy must be a drug dealer because you're dope. I, I want to try that life. Oh, my God, that's my wife texting. Oh. I need to find my friends now. <sighs> your ass is, is so nice that it's a shame you have to sit on it. All right, all right. Start the right. car. We need to find the sister tonight before the family goes in for another year. And there are three after-hour joints we need to hit tonight. I think your friend just rolled up. Dolly for 
wake, Dolly. Yeah. And you'd be awake, Dolly. I just knew it. Look at them eyes. <laughs> Ain't she pretty, Dolly? Hmm. <laughs> Dolly for Dolly. I knew you'd like it, Dolly. I just knew it. <laughs> oh. Okay, Dolly, let's, let's get you in bed. <laughs> Trouble. Dolly. <clears throat> you gotta stop doing that, Dolly. the plan the plan is to find a sister tonight in one of the after hours club and follow her back home and are you thinking red stamp homeboy yeah or johnny's so absent okay you know if we find her i i can't take her into custody on a voodoo whim her custody don't get their girl anyway when we find her we have to let her lead us to our home oh, that's no good i mean then i'm in a home without a warrant i hit absent these ladies will hit the stamp and you can hang in johnny's with her we can do that we can be good we can be great. Stake out. And maybe we should drink and see if she shows up. Well, that's a good idea. Hey, let's drink heavily and smoke some weed. Say that so loud. I'm a cop. band plays what? Cowboy punk. Never heard of that. What makes cowboy punk so unique is the juxtaposition of brevity and core construction and horses. Interesting. That's actually a joke. Maybe an item. <laughs> Great news. Here up to Wayne's completely unjustified skinny rocker ego inflated standards. Very unjustified, I'd say. What's it like living in this dark, crazy place? It's like black magic all the time. Like living in a dream for 200 years. Wayne and I are really into the occult. I know. How? Do what thou wilt, the most hated man in England. Mm. Love him. 
Life without apologies. Or judgment or holding back. I knew you were into Crowley. I actually bought him that t-shirt at a flea market in Boise. Do you know about Annie Ringler? No. She was a beautiful young Hungarian girl Crowley met while touring Moscow. He wrote in his journal, she had passed beyond the region where pleasure had meaning for her. She could only feel through pain. And my own means of making her happy was to inflict physical cruelties as she directed. As she directed? I doubt pleasure has much meaning to you anymore. Pleasures I have dozen 1 a.m. gut busting sliders after a night of rum and coke and blow. Whoa. Time to go? Yes. Meet me outside. Oh, man. Oh. Here. What's this? It's absinthe. Mm. Is it real? Wormwood? Blended with morphine. Family recipe. Yes, it's real. From back in the day. Ooh, always wanted to try this shit. I'd like to meet your family. Ugh. So, uh, you're a madam? A lifestyle dominatrix. They have those where you're from? Cowboys can be very naughty. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you already have saddles and straps around. <laughs> you know, you could be a good one if you wanted. You've got the look. I've never thought much of dominatrix. No offense, I just don't like play acting. But it can seem real. I wonder if you could handle real. Fuck, I can handle real. Let's go. Ah. <gasps> That's a girl from the photo. Okay, to remind you, until we find anything, I'm just a driver. Let's go. Oh, like I'm floating, dude. Keep it down. Wow. Werewolf's Guide to Life, the Necromaniac Ritual Rulebook, the... Intro to Sigilborn spirits? My family has always been open to different ways of thinking. Fucking A! Always love models. This won't come in a box? Hardly. This is a hand replica of the greatest cathedral in Russia. Yeah, I got your cathedral right here. God. Now you've done it. Well, I, I can fix it. We confirm that Hope is here, we call the cops. We have a cop here. Yeah, well, he seems to be a little bit more concerned with some other constitutional issues. I've never heard too fast. Hey, hey, guys, come on, keep up. I'm not kidding around, okay? But what if we get cursed? Are you serious? No. Fuck it, let's go, let's go. You know, it really doesn't seem right that we're not out there searching with them, Adam. What do you mean? It's called the division of labor. Didn't you learn that in college? We're literally just sitting here, though. <laughs> you know, I, I have kind of a crick in my neck. Is there a way you could, like, rub it a little bit? No. Just a little? Just right here? No, it comes with old age. Oh, what do you mean it comes with old age? Ah, you know, this, this, is, this is part of my undercover outfit. This is just a prop. It's a costume. Not a real beard. Ow! <laughs> Seems pretty well to me. <laughs> well, it was prematurely gray when I was 17. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> Wanna see a real dominatrix? Missy, I need to prepare you for what's about to happen. What's about to happen? Sit down. You know, the dark arts are all based on real acts. Cruel ones from long ago. Updated into games and play. Like the cat and I. Exactly. Now it's made out of velvet or whatever. The real Cat-09 would strip skin off the sinner until he confessed the full measure of his transgressions. Who's this guy? The butler? <laughs> the butler. can get into? Look, you're, the mo you're the most athletic. It'd be easy. I right, get you into the top of this porch. All right, the window's right over it. All you do is climb in, but don't do anything heroic. Just come to this back door and let us in. Don't worry about that. It shouldn't be too hard. No. Just a bunch of century-old vampires and they're sleeping. Not vampires. They're dead old. Why does it matter if they're vampires or not? It doesn't matter. Which they're not. Right? Come on, let's go. I'll help you up. <sighs> yeah. We're absent. What are you doing with that fucking loser? He got me out of the sticks, didn't he? You need to know that you can handle this. Pretending to be a dominatrix won't cut it in this house. What do you mean? I'm gonna destroy your guy. <laughs> I would think you'd like that. You love to see for yourself. You can handle this. I can handle anything. In 10 minutes, justice will come for you.
<laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, you know, we never... never agreed on a safe word. The what? God damn! That's an outfit. Oh, uh, uh, a safe word, um, you know, like, like globule, that means stop. Why would I want to do that? Well, it's actually more for me than you, to be honest. <clears throat> for you, of course, playing games. You know, this thing's kind of uncomfortable. Kind of uncomfortable. Yes? Well, that's no good. It's supposed to be terribly uncomfortable. Like theater, right? All right. Shit. Shit. Oh. Shit. So the fat people in Japan, they have this sport, and it's got There's like something so out there. What? Right over there. Right there. I don't see anything. Or at least there was. I don't know. Okay, okay. All right. I will go out and check. And if you see something, just, I don't know, flash the headlights, all right? Okay. Uh, how about a kiss for luck? Maybe when you get back. Okay. All right. Cool. Where are the keys? <laughs> Hello? Okay. Okay, it's, it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Not right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. The left ear. Mm -hmm. 
here. Stop it. When I reclaim what is mine, the thing ends. And then you can finally sleep, Grandma. And wouldn't that be nice? <gasps> and the baby, baby will be all right? You won't have to let anybody know. Just let me finish. All right. All right. All right. Almost over now, Hope. You're unholy trinity, huh? I can't leave any witnesses. Can I? connection sever my connection with this wretched family sever the cord finally it took a long time
present in the barn, knowing my 65th birthday was right around the corner. Again. I liked her. This one was perky and smart, full of drive and determination, not glazed over by drunkenness like the others. Our family needed a replacement, and I felt she may actually be good company. Bye. 